channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. In this segment, I'd like to talk about Ideal Circuit Breaker Finders, and specifically Ideal 61-532 Circuit Breaker Finder with an analog receiver. Now, what this device does for us, or it will find electrical breakers in electrical breaker panels so we can safely turn them off before we start working on the AC outlet in the room or the lighting in the room. And uh, uh, we can work on any live circuit with this. Again, uh, it's got to be AC present. If there's no AC present, not going to work for you. Um, and what this does, when I plug this into the AC outlet in the room, it will then transmit a signal on the uh, electrical wire that goes back into the electrical panel. And with the receiver here, I can actually identify which of those breakers actually is uh, feeding power to the transmitter. Okay. And uh, these work great, you know, and of course years gone by, we would have just start throwing uh, switches in the electrical breaker panel, and sooner or later you hit the right one, right? Well, these do a great job of identifying uh, those uh, breakers for us today. And again, for either lighting circuits or uh, electrical outlets in the rooms. And uh, let's kind of take a quick close-up of the two units, and then I'll show you how to use them. Here's a nice close-up of the ideal circuit breaker finder. And what we've got here is a transmitter unit and a receiver unit. And uh, essentially, you will plug the transmitter into the electrical outlet or room, or you can attach it to some AC wiring. And again, it got to be live circuits. And it would light the light up on the back of the transmitter. Now, the transmitter will then be generating a certain tone at a certain frequency that our receiver is designed to go back and identify. And uh, when I look at the uh, receiver unit here, it has a, a little battery compartment in the back here where we have to replace the batteries. It's got uh, two openings on either side that we can uh, hear the uh, speaker through. It's got a little on and on switch and it's got a little LED that lights up to let you know the tester's working and uh, it's ready to go find uh, that tone that the transmitter is putting out. And then the very nose of this is where we want to actually uh, 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 used to on the face of the breakers in the panels and we'll be able to identify which of the individual breakers has actually got that tone or signal on it uh, and we'll do that here in a minute and when I look at the basic transmitter you know it can be plugged into an electrical outlet in a room easy enough uh, we also have uh, or you can go buy little adapters like this that we could use it to adapt into a, a, a electrical lighting circuits and we can screw that into uh, incandescent lighting circuit and then plug this right into the top of it and then if there was AC power here the light here would be light, lit up I should say and uh, it would be generating that tone or sound that we're looking for with our receiver device and of course uh, we can also go out and buy these little adapters that would allow us to uh, clip it right to electrical wiring itself or bare conductors okay and then we can again clip it right to electrical wiring if we needed to uh, but as I said, most cases are going to get plugged into electrical outlets in rooms. And here I've got an extension cord running to the tabletop. And uh, now I've plugged it in. And i got a red light on the back of the unit here Let me know that it's uh, working. And it is uh, in an active live circuit. And it is generating this sound or tone that we can pick up with our, our receivers. And if I, you know, if I turn my receiver on and hold it to the side of this, it's making noise, the light goes out, and it's looking for the sound as I move away from it. So let's go find uh, this particular circuit back in the breaker panel. Well, here I am back at the electrical breaker panel, and I'm going to try and locate which of these breakers actually the transmitter is plugged into, into that uh, extension cord. So I'm going to come back here and turn on my transmitter, or my receiver, I should say. And it's got a little LED light on the top here. It's lit up that's telling me that that thing is ready to go. And then I'm going to slowly go through each of the breakers. And I'm going to take the very nose of this receiver unit. I'm going to hold it so it's flush against each of these breakers. And then just kind of roll through each of the breakers. And it's going to start beeping and making noise. And it's starting to identify which of the breakers I'm actually trying to find. And what it's doing is it's tuning itself in into that frequency of the transmitter itself. And that's why several of them make a noise and it's trying to figure out which one's loudest. So it's kind of storing all those. And, um, and again, I've, I've taken my time as I run through this, okay? And give it just a second to identify each of those, okay? Now, we hold it back for another second or two and the transmitter now is gonna uh, sit back and go, okay, which was those was the loudest or, or closest, to the, closest to the actual a frequency of the sound I was looking for. So now I'm going to go back through the breakers a second time. And it should not beep at me on any of them other than the one that had the loudest or the strongest signal coming from the transmitter that it could read. 
And so far, nothing's beeping at me. And uh, hopefully one of these here right at the end will. Oh, there it went. Okay. And uh, no, so I've gone through the entire breaker panel. Only one of them beeped at me. It was that one right there. And the light goes out on you. And as you hold it up to the breaker. Now, again, if you're holding the unit up against the breaker and you're at an odd angle, it may not beep properly at you. Okay. Again, you want to be flush with that. Okay. And take your time with it. Give the tester just a little bit of time to tune itself in to that actual sound or tone that it's looking for. So there you go. That's how you go about uh, tracing a breaker. And, uh, you know, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries, and good luck to you out there. Uh, I will see you next time.